Welcome back to Let's Play Max Payne. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, we're in Angelo Puncinello's restaurant, which has been rigged to blow. I'm uh, having a bit of trouble getting through this sequence, so here's the one where I succeed. Jump cut! This is the sixth attempt since the jump cut. Usually it's the other one that opens. My god, this fire is bulletproof! kind of genetically engineered super fire. Is anyone even going to hear that? Man, I hope so. Okay, here we go. Wait. Ah. Uh oh. Killers or something here? No. Let's get the hell out of here. Are you fucking kidding me? It was burning to get me. The feeling was mutual. He was trying to put out my flames with gasoline. Oh, come on! as long as I can afford to wait. <laughs> Albert Wesker, you are not. That guy was badass. Probably be a really bad idea right now. The monsters too. have been guarding a real treasure. The way out of this disco inferno. I feel like disco inferno was a dated reference in uh, 2001. No, my life. Ah! Uh! Well, at least I know how to get through it now. I'll keep the Colt in my hand this time. Oh, wait. Right, sorry, I just realized I hadn't actually started my timer because I was redoing the beginning of the video again and again. This time I'm gonna make it through all the fire stuff. I'm just saving. I kind of thought this whole sequence would just be one straight run to the end, you see. Dodge rolled into fire. Wasn't quite as dramatic, but hey, still counts. Okay. Put 
when Chinello was burning to get me. The feeling was mutual. He was trying to put out my flames with gasoline. Special of the day. You may live. Although you might want to get a new... What is that, a forward slash key from back when they had the, uh, the numpad on the other side of the keyboard? Which I guess is a suspended manufacturer's preference thing. Oh, ah! <sighs> hey, I don't mean to be, like, your boss or anything, but, uh, you really, really, really want to get out of here. I'm just saying. The mobsters have been guarding a real treasure. The way out of this disco inferno. Oh, wait. Yeah, there we go. That will help. And I guess I'll just spam slow time. I really, really like that the game is smart enough to automatically shut that off once you've killed everybody. That's really, really good. Oh, Christ. Now she startled me. I think so, no one had ever tried to shoot me before. In fact... trying out right mouse button instead of left shift for uh, the slow time buton. Where's your friend? I thought I saw movement back here. Well, that's what I get for shooting first and asking questions later. Got him down. I was slowly panning over and I think he realized, wait, he could just shoot my arms! Right where you belong, in the turlet of New York. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I definitely need new shoes after this. in my hair. Tell you what. There we go. Nice even coating. Just the most unpleasant man in New York right now. Certainly after the day he's been having. Maybe I'll roll around in the snow the next time I'm outside. Yeah, that'll solve that problem. kind of holding my breath for the first part of that gunfight, because gunfights in this game without slow time are kind of terrifying. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh hey, someone's dead. I didn't even see the, the, the first guy go down, I just heard it happen. Do not enter for maintenance personnel only. Vlad had seen my smoke signals. The Mercedes was revving to go, almost drowning out the banshee well of the sirens. You coming? We'll drop you off at the Punchinello Manor. Sounds good to me. When this is over, look me up. I could use a professional like you. I'll keep that in mind. Vladimir is surprisingly, uh, 
<laughs> the Personal. night groaned with cold. The garden lights flickered nervously. In their light, the falling snow was dead white before the darkness ate it up. I had heard the stories. The trio were mad dogs. They'd have hung the heads of their enemies over the manor gates if the capo had only let them. Punchinella wanted pain, he'd see the pain. The trick in my situation was that there was no trick, no matter what the movies tell you. No rules, no secret mantra, no roadmap. It wasn't about how smart or how good you were. It was chaos and luck, and anyone who thought different was a fool. All you could do was to hang on madly, as long and as hard as you could. Someone had graciously left the back door open for me and killed the guards. My money was on Mona. <laughs> I knew the trio would be standing between me and Punchinello. I had read their rap sheets, thick as phone books. No one would be walking out of here alive. The numbing cold of the broken night had followed me in. Upstairs, the trio tangoed down the manor halls to the silent rhythm of their murderous hearts. The blood of their victims rust on their lips. Vince Mignano, Pilot Providence, a.k.a. Big Brother, and Joe Deadpan Salem. The pistol was a frozen lump in my hand, piercing the skin, gnawing me to the bone. There. Now the thing he said makes sense. Because he had one pistol in his hands. Oh, God, what fresh hell. I kind of wasn't expecting that one to work. In death, the thug had been promoted to messenger. Soon. Someone hadn't enjoyed the Don's hospitality. Someone with a flair for the dramatic. Someone who had let herself out of a locked cell and passed a couple of armed guards. My thoughts were on Mona again. I could only hope she was a good enough gambler to walk away while she was still winning, before she'd run into the trio. There was, uh... The thing from here. Oh, interesting. That they had this uh, on there. Yeah, yeah. Chaos and luck, and anyone who thought different was a fool. I like this. Hang on madly and long as hard as you could, and that does very much feel like uh, basically what I do in these games. Just sort of throw yourself at the situation and hope for the best. That's my name, don't wear it out. That'd be kind of funny if I'd have set the place on fire and left. Ha! Casa D'Angelo finally open. Not for long, bitch! The weekly New York City uh, restaurant review, Casa D'Angelo. Ah. I guess I'll just bleed out in the corner. You don't have to worry about me. You should probably go tell your boss I'm dead. I don't think he's buying it, you guys. terrible. Oh, that guy did le leap into the way of those bullets that were going to miss. So, hey, cool. Are all your friends that unintelligent? Or is it just Jimbo here? I don't think you're one of those guys in the thing. Not one of the trio. Uh oh! How could he possibly miss? Wow, look how low texture these boxes are. Or low res these boxes are. I was not expecting that one to make that noise.
Let's see if there's a dude in there. Hello? Uh oh! I don't know, I'm surprised. I knew there were people in there. Ah! My blood! I needed that! To be on the inside! Oh, there you are. <clears throat> Voice crack there. Whoa. Hello. Oh. What the hell? What? Having a, just a map of Italy on the wall seems a bit weird, even if this is an Italian mobster's house. Maybe if it was in a nice frame. Well, looking, you'll come to think of it, my father does have a map of Newfoundland on the wall of his home. So I guess, yeah, it is about the homeland sometimes. You dumbass! Don't you want to bet that's not the guy who uh, decided to do the thing? Motherfucker, he wasn't even dead. Well, that was kind of funny. Yo! You know what? what the? All right. Now you will never interrupt me again. In fact... Hmm. I bet that would be full of informative information. And useful tidbits if we, uh, had a much higher resolution texture than that. Creepy place this is. I like how one of the lights doesn't work. Wait. Nope. That's not how that works. What was I thinking? Not this early. How long had dynamic lighting even been a thing in 2001? It didn't take me long to run into the trio. Lisa Punchinello was that she was a bit of a witch. The tarot cards on the kitchen table fit the picture. They weren't my kind of cards, but I was willing to take a crack at the hand Mrs. Punchinello had dealt. The first card was the tower. Maybe that was supposed to be the manor. It got easy after that. The devil was the master of the house, and death was me coming for him. I don't know why I was expecting something useful in there. Probably because the door actually opened. A lot of bare wood for a rich guy's house, if you ask me. But, uh, the timer has gone, so I guess I will have to call it. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Max Payne, when we continue fighting our way through this house and, uh, ruin the day of absolutely anyone who comes in our path. Later.